Pictures, for us, it was about getting food. I lived through hell with these people. We were a group. We would do anything to stay alive. I will never forget those days. Things you see in war stay with you forever. Yo yo, hope you're doing well. This is Doodle Bug, or Bug for short. Um, today, on this video, I will be uh, having a look at showing you um, if some of you haven't played this, it is a survival game. Um, and it is all about the war. Uh, and as you can see, it's called This War of Mine. Now obviously it was a tragedy when obviously the war was in place um, obviously me being only 32 I wasn't around at the time but it must have been absolutely awful and this game reflects that um, obviously people had families, people had uh, the children, had their parents um, you know and then all of a sudden obviously they all got bombed uh, and obviously <clears throat> a lot of people killed there's loads of different places, obviously there was no power, there's, there's, no, there's nothing um, so they had to survive um, and the only way they could survive is being holed up somewhere and just live on whatever they can find on the floor so this game is basically about that uh, it could be run through a mouse a keyboard or a controller um, so as further ado let's get into it and I shall show you what this is you can choose a story as you can see on the left there, um, I have played this. I was uh, Katia, Bruno and Pavel and I survived 11 days. Um, about, I would say, 20 minutes. Uh, I've played it about 25 minutes. I survived 11 days. Um, it is quite intense. It's quite, it's not, well, I suppose it's not really intense, but it's very, you have to think about what you're doing. Look at what you're doing. You know, you can make a shovel but you can't just go and buy one, it's the wall so I think you can't go outside so basically all you had to do was collect stuff so uh, yeah so it's, it's quite, um, you got to think about what you're doing obviously I only survived 11 days, two people uh, Katty and Bruno unfortunately died um, one of them got stabbed and one of them got shot uh, I was rummaging around through certain buildings and obviously you've got other people there, you've got other scavengers there that are in the same situation as what I am um, and they've obviously would defend it could it could be literally bits of electric it, it could be just a can of food but they will kill people to obviously save themselves and that's what happened unfortunately to Katia and Bruno uh, they were scavenging some certain areas and um, died basically so yeah, we've got loads of different ones. Um, obviously, these ones here are new. I haven't played any of this. I just played the first one. So you've got two here. We got three. We could play with two. Um, day one. As you can see, the war is still on. The bombing, as you can hear in the background, is still going on. And this is basically, uh, as you can see, there's three people here. I've had to start again, it, it stopped for some reason. So, yeah, there is three of us who live in this house. If you call it a house, half a house. 
Um, and we got to survive. So as it says here, and I will read it out, it says, how long has this age lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers. Shelling is ordinary. Business almost every night. Phones don't work. There is a shortage of food and medicines. And many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends. So when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Pavel while scavenging for supplies. He used to be a Porgen star football player. Now he's just another homeless victim of the war. So they teamed up, hoping for the best. Right, before we go, I want to see... Uh, right, okay. As, as you can hear, there, there is obviously the bombs and stuff like that. Uh, you can choose them by going off to the left. I'm playing an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, push Y, you can see we haven't got absolutely, we've got nothing. They've got one chair, they've got lack of beds. I think they've got one bed. Um, no, I don't think they've even got a bed. No, they haven't even got a bed. Uh, so what we've got to do is you scavenger. Obviously, we've just taken this house up. We're going to claim it as ours. Uh, but we've got to scavenge the house. Have a look to see what there is what is around on this house so I'll take him upstairs he can have a look see what's around on the house right so he's got bandages we have that raw food a lockpick components we grab everything so you've got to search the whole house grab all of that and what you do is you grab stuff as you scavenge stuff and then you can try and build stuff out of certain things so he's gonna start doing that so we go to the other one it takes them a while because they got to use their hands to get through everything and he's gonna do the same there so we've got to wait for them to do it. Obviously they've got to scavenge everything. We scavenge here. Um, you've got to take into place the obviously the temperature that's up there on the top left. Obviously when it gets cold there is no heating. So they can die of being cold. Um, so we've got, we've got to try and get oils and stuff and fires to get going. Um, and at night they go out to scavenge. They scavenge the city. They scavenge anything they can get to find some more stuff. Um, so they've got so they can get supplies and obviously survive the day so 11 days is the most that I've survived so that's the most I've done let's get up here in a minute and we'll see what's up in the treehouse see there were people living here and they've moved uh, the wars claimed loads of victims loads of them alright let's see what else is about around here um, at the moment they're okay um, you, you, you can see all different things but as they go up they say you know that they're, they're getting hungry they're getting um... oh, he's going to try and move that so they get hungry they get cold they get slightly sick as you can see there Marco he's got a slightly sick at the bottom there on his uh, bio if you like his bio card he's slightly sick so we've got a scavenge at night, we've got to remember that we need some sort of medicines. Um, so what I do now is if I go... I've got a lock pick because I found that on another rubble bit. So we use that to get in, get in there and then he can close the door. I can't, I can't seem to get... Alright, go downstairs a minute. And here is the main building station, so we can see what we can build. Obviously, everything that you build there, the components we need to make a bed is 26 to 23. So you need 23 of them and 20 wood to make a bed. Um, you've got the chairs. I've got, I've got three wood out of 20. <clears throat> um, Rainwalker. So there's loads of different things, like you've got the tools. I can make a tool so I can put it a tool somewhere. Let's put a tool there. 
So he will go and start making a tall base for us. That means once you've got a tall base, you've got a chance of making some picks for doors because doors are locked. Or you've also got a chance, um, not just to obviously do with that, you've got uh, claw hammers and so on. Oh, he doesn't want to do that, so let's get him downstairs. Search that, see if there's anything in there. Yeah, add that downstairs. Obviously, you do people get knock your door, and obviously, when you're at night, as I found out, um, obviously, one of mine's committed suicide. Uh, unfortunately, and it was just due to the fact that uh, he was depressed. Right, so let's let's make a bed. We put a bed down there, so he will begin to make a bed for us. Right, he's got to get out because he's been too lazy to be honest with you. So we come around here. Can't make any more beds now because we haven't got enough. Obviously, we've got. 8 of 7 of thingy and 6 of 8 of the others uh, we can make a chair or we can make a filter obviously as it says homemade single use filters to purify rain water and distill alcohol could make some of them and I think that you can burn in a heater to warm up our place uh, it's not winter so we don't have to worry too much about that we could make we could have a radio somewhere um, Let's have a radio. Let's have a radio there. So we go up and do that. I see he there now has made that toolbox. So now you've got another option. You can make a, get a crowbar, a lockpick, a shovel. Now a shovel is a very good thing. Obviously, just due to the fact that there's a lot of rubble and you're clearing it with your hands again. You get cuts on your hands. You can get injured hands. You can get it infected. There's, there's loads of different things that you can do. But obviously, a shovel. We're all right on the wood department, but we need some of the materials. So everyone's okay. So I'm going to proceed to the night now. The night comes, and these at the moment are available. So the ruin filler. It's got huge amounts of food, huge amounts of materials, lots of medicines, huge amounts of weapons, and huge amounts of parts. Now it doesn't say anything about being dangerous. Now normally they tell you. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Um, so I'm going to go in there, I'm preparing myself um, Who do I... Yeah. Uh, abandoned cottage, quiet house Let's go to the right Now obviously this bit is obviously, you're just about to scavenge So if you've got guns or anything that you can tell to protect you You could take it with you, like medicine, bandage I, on this one, it says it's okay, I'm going to gamble that it's okay um, and I'm not going to bother taking anything. I'm not going to. I'm not going to bother take, taking anything. Uh, no, actually, Scavaging, Bruno, slightly wounded, slightly sick. Right, well, let's change him then. He can, he can be the scavenger. Backpack. Right. I'm just gonna take some. Uh, some materials with me. Well, we go, it's raining, so you can see there's someone up there. Um, I do apologise for the sound, but obviously, this game is quite um, sound friendly, and there's nothing I can do to try and sort of lower it down a little bit for you, so hopefully, you'll be able to hear me. Um, obviously, so we're scavenging this place. It is late at night, look, there's a little bit there that we can scavenge to see if we can find anything in this disused bit. Obviously, you're going to come across loads of other people. Um, doing basically the same as what we're doing. Um, 
Some people are okay, some people will end up shooting you. He's gone to the door because he could hear me. Obviously some of this we need, so... It all depends on what you want. Oh, I'm going to just take that for that. Um, Alright, well, that won't budge, so I'm going to come back up here quickly. Go to the right. some gun stuff there, there's, there's a book bit there. Right now to run to the run run to the exit um, you can just run straight back and click. Now obviously people can stab you if they've got knives, they might have found some metal stuff or so on. Materials to make a knife and that's what they've done. So I've managed to scavenge that tonight. Day two. I'll scavenge it for the for me and the other two people. I've come back, obviously he's found pretty really fine stuff. What a night, it's a good, it's a good night, we've managed to get something. Uh, so we've got their materials that are up the top there. They will get added, so what I can do is I can go down, obviously he's, he's tired and he's hungry. But I want to see if we can make anything with the extra items that we got, we can. Now I can make another bed or I can make an actual stove. I am going to make the stove because I feel that that's quite important. I'm going to put that in the kitchen. He's going to come out and he's going to go down and see if I can use him. Obviously if you don't use, if you leave one of the people and they go out at night and you're, you've only got the one person, someone will come in and nick all your stuff if you're unlucky. Um, I'm going to use fuel. Should I use, yeah. We'll get him to do some use some fuel. It's 20 plus degrees, so we don't need no heating at the moment. My stomach's rumbling. We've got some raw food that he can eat. Obviously, we can't heat it up yet, but he can eat some raw food. Obviously, he slept poorly. He's hungry and he's slightly wounded. Too bad it isn't cooked, but we might be able to cook it now for you. He's slightly wounded so we can get a bandage for him that will cover his slightly wounded department so that will go he's bandaged up he's not fully but it's better than nothing as you can see he's bandaged he's going to eat some other thing he's a good cook so the hungriness is gone he slept poorly and thingy so let's see what he is he's hungry as well so he can have a little bit of food to eat He's still hungry, so he needs another little bit more. Obviously, you need to keep him healthy because they've got to defend certain stuff, so. Right. He's tired, so he, I'll leave him there. He slept poorly, but he's not too bad. Right, this is the stuff that we've got, so let's have a look and see if there's anything else in this place that we can scavenge. we've done that didn't we he's slightly sick he's recovering so we're end the night there and we're going to see what we can scavenge on the next night as you can see it's opened up a bit more now there's more stuff available um, we are going to go to the supermarket I'm not going to take anything with me uh, obviously the less I take the more I can get when I scavenge but again it is um, risky right as you can see there's loads of people here it is, a, it is a disused supermarket it has been bombed it has been killed uh, basically anything I can take I'm going to take you can see they have got guns so you've got to be careful you don't piss them off and obviously you said there it should be enough for all of us so don't worry so he's, he's quite a helpful person but if you nick something that they want they will get angry about it um, you can if you don't want something empty cases we could be far ammo out of them there's something you don't want you can drop it 
and you can add sand cows. Um, I'm gunpowder. I need that. I'm going to drop the water, and I'm going to nick the guns. All right, we we'll see if there's anything else better in this supermarket. Because it's obviously filled up, it doesn't mean that obviously that's that's the best there is. Because you can keep filling your basket up with stuff. Right, I can't take. I've got two bits of wood anyway, so. Alright, let's see what's up here. Might be something here. Alright, let's carry on. There's a bit on the roof there, so we'll have a look see what's on there. Coming okay at the moment, everyone seems to be okay. Doesn't seem to be any angry people. Alright, so looking at it, and then we'll make this last one, and then we go back to base. Right. Click here, see if there's anything that's in here. Yeah, some extra bits, some extra bits. I say there is quite a lot here, um, and I'm not, I haven't pissed anyone off yet. So, done pretty well so far. Right. Obviously, again, we are still in the supermarket. We are having a look, see where what we're going to take. Right. I think that's going to be it now. So I'll push. B button on the Xbox 360 controller and it will take me straight to the exit and we can go home. So we'll have a look, see what we got, see what we can build to see what we can have and survive. Day three. So this is this is day three. He got loads of stuff tonight. Ah, someone came in at the night and took some of our things by force. So the things they stole was some can of food, some raw food, some um, I believe medicine plants, cannabis or whatever, and six water. So again, we have been raided. There's been three people there, but they might have, they've come in as false and they've taken everything that we had. That is um, not good. Bit shit, really. Right. So we can make another bed, so we can have someone else on there. We've got a stove. We've got some water to sugar. Um, a simple heater. So I think we should do that. Actually, to be honest, and I think it should be made here. Right. He's hungry, they're all hungry, so we need to sort out the food situation. So let's see if there's anything in there we can build. Oh, I haven't got enough, but I can build that quickly. Is this one still. No, he's okay now, so he can get up. He's had enough time sleeping, lazy git. He's hungry, so let's, uh, let's get him some food. Can't make nothing else, we haven't got anything else now. Right, that's heating that up. He's hungry, so let's get him some food here. Still hungry, let's fit him up. So it's a very good game, it's a very survival game, so um you know, it's, it's what happened, you know, and I'm sure this is what happened. You know, look at out there, it's, it's horrible. It's a horrible place to be. It's not a place you'd want to be. Um, God knows what this place used to be. Old house. Rich people used to live here, I suppose. Right, he's hungry, so let's... Obviously, shutting the doors is going to heat the place up more. Um, 
Look, someone's at the door there, so he will go to bed. He can answer it. Let's see what this person wants to do. Someone's at the door, I know, I'm trying to get there. Right. Please select an unselect scavenger. Um, right. Sniper Junction, I've never actually been there, so what we do, we go there. I'm not gonna, um, yeah, well, I'll take bandages just in case that happens. Right, there we go, we are at the sniper thing, so, oh. I don't know what's going to happen here. Watch out, you don't want to get shot by the snipers. Okie dokie. So we've got to wait. Yeah, we we'll grab all of them. The bastards is in the hotel. Covers the whole damn street. Right, let's see if he's got anything in this that he's left me. anything damn let's let's do this bit of other way and see if we can find anything ah Got some wood right so we've got that bit there um what I'm gonna do right I don't want to get shot so I'm gonna go back right Bruno's going back I'm sending him back home so right it's day four on the survival everyone's still alive that was a good whole look what I got so he's clearly quite a lot of stuff there so let's see what we can actually build right so we can build a chair we've got a simple heat out and we've got one of them anyway I'm gonna do a clip collect the rainwater so let's do that slept poorly and he's hungry all right let's go through the night let's take him out and I'm going to go to the school let's go to the school and let's go well right, this is a disused bomb school so we see what's going on in here I heard had classes for the started poor kids. Right, let's have a look see what's in this bit. So really I need food, so anything anything to do with food really I need. Right, that won't open. So let's it's very um that's it. Right, ideally I need I need a shovel. I need to go down there and see if we can nothing worth taking, right. Let's have a look, see what's in here. Bit of wood. No. It is very awkward. I've got to admit, it is very awkward. Well, I'm not moving that, it's going to take forever to do that. Right. Let's go. That'll do. I want to see if we can get a shovel because it'll take ages doing it with my hands. So, let's get out of the school. We can always come back there later on. Yeah, we will do. So, as you can see, you're probably getting the idea, the the um, gist of what actually the day is um, and what it's all about. It is pretty good. I, I quite enjoy it. It's, it's a survival. It's a war, and it is probably what happened in you know when it was actually when the war was going. So you know, it is. Um, he needs to go to bed now. So Marco is a skilled scavenger. So he can pick that up, see what's in here. Actually, it might be wise to actually go to the uh, tall thing and see if we can get a shovel. We should be able to get a shovel now. No, what are we missing? Missing some more them and them. We can get a weapon, though. We make a weapon that, that'll help us when we go. Right, he needs to get up. 
He's sleeping on the floor because he's very hungry and tired. We need to find food. Yeah, I know, mate. I know you need food. All right, we can't make anything. So let's get, let's take him back upstairs. Get him some tin food. It's all we've got at the moment. We're running out of food. Let's have some canned stuff. That feels better. Alright. Well, you can sit down there for a minute. He's sleeping and he can. No, we ain't got any water. We need food, we need food. I know you need food. Right, let's go out again. The night, it's another night of scavenging. As you can see now, a lot of stuff's opened up. Um, obviously, military, as you can see there now, it's coming up danger. So that's what it actually tells you. It, it's a dangerous place. Obviously, being military, you'd thought it would be anyway. Um, but obviously, city hotel, caution is advised. Hotel, possible trade, you've got a possible trade there and caution is advised, so what we're going to do there is we're going to go with that one. Um, I'm going to take that with me. I'm going to take a blade just in case I need it, in case someone tries to attack me, I can defend myself. Right, let's see. I say you've got to be careful. Um, you can die. Now, if you do die, that's that person dead. Not a lot you can do about that. That, that person dies. Um, and then you just carry on using the other two until they all die. Yeah, I think it's got to survive up to 50 days, I believe. 60 days? Something like that. Right, I think I needed some more of them. Guns. Could need some guns, so I need to drop some of these. I'm going to drop one of them and I'm going to put some guns into it. Oh, this place is crawling with these disgusting creatures. Is it, mate? Okay, well, just let me check here. I want to save this. I just want to check to see what you got, mates, if there's anything that I can have so I can survive. No, I've got loads of them. I'll look outside quickly. Oh, no, it's not outside. I thought it was outside then. Something must be blocking it from the other side. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look in here, see what's here. Canned food? Definitely that. What's that? Fertiliser. Uh, organic waste that we can use as fertiliser in our garden to grow. Ah, right, okay, so let me... We've got a lot of these. So that might be a good thing to have, because we can grow our own. That's good. Obviously then we can grow our own and we won't have to keep getting out to get them. Let's look up here. Alright, jump that. Jump, get down. Shut the door. Let's go down here run across see what's in here someone's here good evening good evening man get all your stuff mate my legs went low obviously then places there you can see there you can hide in certain areas it's very horrendous to control this game hey I've got something you like have ya? Ah, things what do you want what do I need herbs that might be something I could have materials pure alcohol now that would be nice 
I would like that, and I would like some that, some them, and some food, and that. That's what I would like. What I can give you. So, show me some more. Uh, bit of wood. Not interested then. Right, so we can we can nick something of theirs. So obviously it's a risk. They will run away because obviously I've got saying on them. He's got a knife, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go home. I've got what I want. I'm quite happy with what we got. I didn't want to. I didn't want to obviously risk him getting dead or dying. So I'll go home. I've got a lot of stuff, so that'll do us for another couple of nights to see what else we can do with what I've got. Day six on the survival of the war. We drove the thugs away last time, but we won't hold them back forever. No. We've been raided! Surprise, surprise! Some food's gone. Happy days. Right, he's slightly wounded, so we need to go and get him bandaged up. He's sad. He's very tired, and he's sad. So what he can do, he go upstairs and listen to the bit of the radio, cheer himself up a little bit. Right, this is obviously the radio, what they can do. It's, like, it's pointless really, but... Right, he's very tired, so what we're going to do, we put him into bed. He can go into bed. He's hungry, he's tired. Apart from that, he's happy days. Alright, let's see what we can build here. Hmm, not a lot. So can we build anything on the uh, tool front? Yeah, we've got a crowbar and a pick we can do, so let's build a tank. Thing him above. He's very hungry, so he can have a bit of that. He's still very hungry, so let's have a bit of tin food in instead. Can't get it. Right, okay. We'll have another bit of that. I can't, can't seem to select it for some reason. Right, let's go again. They're all there, so we've got loads of different sniper junction, construction site, hotel I've visited. Let's visit the hospital. Again. Not, on, I'm going to take that a knife with me just in case anything happens. I can actually get them, stab them. Right, here we go. We're at the hospital here, so first thing to have a look at, see what's in here. I'll take that all to start with. Careful, pal. I've got my eye on you. Say so something. Evening. If you have any medicine or bandages, I'll buy them from you. Oh, I haven't. Simple medications based on herbs, sometimes they help. I haven't eaten nothing mate, I haven't taken anything. But I do want something. What are you gonna do? Let's have a look here. If you have medicine to try, you should talk to the doctor. Any 
making everything here. Obviously, there's loads of there's gonna be loads of beds in here on the floor. Hello, mate. It's like a field hospital built on the ruins of a real one. Yeah, I want food, but I, I need. I want something else. Hello, mate. How are ya? What you got over here then? Let me know if you need something. What are you doing? Don't touch my stuff. No, I won't take it. So if you don't take it, they don't mind. What they got in here? Got some food. No, I've got all that really. Let's have a look. I say, hey, keep away from that. Yeah, various parts. I've got basically a lot of that already. Obviously, if you do take it, then obviously they will get the bit of a bit of a hump. Let's just say, for instance, please behave. You're in my hospital. Shut up, mate. Will you? I'm not in your bloody hospital. The last shelling was the worst. It's a miracle we can still work. What has he got? He's got cigarettes and he's got a shovel. I want a shovel. Won't do. I haven't got anything with me now. It's alright. Let's see what he's got in here. Got some guns. I'm gonna nick it all. Let's see what's he got in here. So it's just gonna piss him off, but I'm gonna risk it. He's she's asleep anyway. She didn't even notice anything. Let's have a look. Are you trying to steal from us? No, I'm not. Coffee. Hmm. That was an easy one. Right, let's get out of here before we get stuck. Aha! Excellent. Marco is back. And I got some good stuff out of that without getting done. It's good. Let's see what happens here then. Day 7. I wonder if we got raided again. No. We didn't get raided. Well, he's a skilled savage. There's no, no point in him doing the cooking, I suppose. Is there anything I can make extra for us? A lot of stuff now. So, we don't need that. We've got one of them. Heater, we don't need it at the moment. It's not the winter. We do need another bed, so let's see if we can put another bed in. Let's see if we can make a shovel, we still can't. Damn. Okay, not to worry. We've got any water that we can deal with? No, we haven't got any of that either. No, we're lucky it's not cold now, so there's no point doing that. 20 degrees, chair, um, filters, he's a good cook, see if he can cook anything up for us, alright I want to see I need what do I need? I need some more water and I need some more food. Right, Bruno, I'm going to use him now. He can go out. Uh, warehouse, that's got some a brothel. Let's go to the brothel. Uh, what I'm going to take with me is my knife 
and a bit of jewellery. See if I can flog it. We'll trade with someone if I can trade with anyone. That's pissing down, terrific. It's my first time in this kind of place. And mine. I wonder if we can get the women. I wonder if there's any women left. There might be. Could be some women. Damn, man. I'm getting it downstairs, I suppose. Is there any way we can go? It's trash mostly among to lie a fashionable handbag torn as if someone had ripped it open. Any fault to a damaged zipper, a tiny frame photo of a young man, and a pocket notebook. Whoever tossed these here wasn't the owner. Someone's got there and nicked it off them. So it's scavenging, so you know, you've got to get as much as you can. You've got to survive, basically. I tried a saw, yeah, well, we ain't got a saw, so there's no chance of that happening. Right, let's have a look, see what's in here. Can't see anyone there. Right, shell casings, yeah. What's that? Gunpowder. Got enough of that at the moment. I, I want food. Oh, what's he doing? No. Oh. No, it's a pain in the ass this is. Right. Let's see what's here. Tinned food. I'll try and pull this open and see if there's anything in there. It's a scavenge for stuff. Done. Oh, I'm back to the beginning. Right, okay. So let's go up and around in here. Hey, I've got something you like. I bet you ain't. So you, you don't... You never know to trust. You ain't following me. That's sank, I suppose. No, don't want any of that stuff. Up. See what's in here. Food. Right, okay. Let's get rid of that. I like the idea of that. But ideally, I need food. That's what I need. Die here. I need food. I'm hungry and I need food. What? Gum shots? I better go and check. Right, we need to get going here. I'm going to put him upstairs where these just come from. Bollocks. I'll get food. Right. That's enough for him. Let's go. Let's get out of here quick. Go, 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 go. Aha! Made it. Right, that, that will help me towards what I need and what I've got. So, that is good. Day 8. Of a survival. Alright, please don't say I've been raided. Aha! Perfect. Right, he's a good cook, so let's have a look, see if there's anything he can cook now. I can't remember what it was he needed. One of them, he needs some water and the chicken, so he can't even do that, but he can grab some raw thingy. He's tired. So what we do is we get him insane to eat. Then he'll have to go to sleep. I have to use someone else to do it. He can go to bed. He can go in there and see if we can make anything. Right, I could do another 
bed moonshine chair that the other one's there so we can get the shovel yet yes that will help us when we come to um, getting some stuff Let's just wait for the. Um, I'll take it down here first. And see if I can. I should say when you do it, when you ain't got the shovel, do it. I mean, I will have in a minute. Here we go. Much quicker with a shovel. Might be some water here, hopefully. You never know. Right, what we got? What we got? Nothing. Absolute jack shit. Right. Anything in here? Let's have a look. Bandages, some medicine, some books. Not loads, but better than nothing. Can we do anything with the... Um... Right, yes we can. I haven't eaten for days. Yeah, alright, well, we'll go and grab your Saint the week quick. We'll see. He's starving. Why right, he's starving, so let's get him Saint the week first. He doesn't send away before he runs out and he starves to death. Alright, he can eat something because he's very hungry. Let's go. I need to find food, so uh, construction site, St Mary's Church. Lots of food. Ah. What I'm going to take here is I'm going to take a oh, push the wrong button. That could be a bit of a consequence here because that means if I come across any rocks or anything like that, I'm going to have to um, sort them out. Oh, is this ain't there already? So let's see if there's anything beyond there, quick. Yeah, have it. Have it, why not? Right, up here. Is the construction shot. It's 20 past 9. Uh, in the church, actually, not the construction site. Oh, I need food, I need to find some food finding this other crap but I need food. See it's got lots of food so there must be food somewhere. Jump. Hmm. There should be some here somewhere. Somewhat don't go easy on him. What? So gonna oh it was gonna try and kill me then I don't know what he's doing I've got me on him I need bloody food oh oh that's good oh quick oh he died that is how quick it can end that is how different it is um so he's dead he didn't make it obviously he didn't like him he was nicking some stuff and he, he thought it was his it's day nine unfortunately Pavel died Pavel was killed while looking for supplies it happens it's the way it does um it's not nice 
Let's have a look in here. We haven't searched this bit yet. He's depressed now again. They could commit suicide. They could take their own lives. Uh, obviously, his friend never got back to him. So it is, it is quite a sad situation. I don't want to go upstairs now. They kill Pavel. Will they kill us all? See, now, there you've got this problem now because you think, well, if they killed us, they kill Pavel, and might kill us. Let's let's get him to eat something, and then we we'll shove him out. See what he um. He's depressed. Just very hungry and sad. Can't believe it. Yesterday he was with us, and now he's not. Again, it does affect you, um, and they do that within the game. And I would imagine that unfortunately the people that obviously lost their lives um, and their loved ones were there with them as well. It would have had a um, would have had a bearing on. So these cans are quite nuisance, right? So all he is is sad. So he's not too bad. Um, oh, hang on. Who's this? We doing? We doing? Someone's at the door. Oh no, there's someone at the door. Let me answer it. What do you want? What do you want? Show me what you wish to trade. Oh, well, okay, he wants to trade. What do I want? I want... A, well, what? I want some actual foods. We can eat them as is, but they much much better meal when they cook with some raw food. Now we have got tin food, so we can see if you give us some of them. Um, consumables, moonshine components. Uh, got some guns. Don't really want any of that? Roll up cigarettes. Yeah, we have some of them. That might make them better. Right. Now what we're we going to give him? What is he going to accept? Um, I don't know what he's going to accept. To be honest, it won't do. Uh, what about a knife? Deal. That's it. Done that. So now, now I've done a deal with him. I wonder. The kitchen's downstairs. I don't know where my kitchen is so far. Have I got enough? I can't remember what I wanted. No, I still ain't got enough. But I've got the raw things there, so I, I need some more of the actual meat stuff tonight. Interested. Well fed and depressed. He's sad. Let's see if we can go and get some food quickly. Uh, construction site, quiet house. Huge amounts of food, amounts of parts. Right. Well, I'm going to take a shovel with me this time, and I ain't got a knife, so I'm just going to gamble it. Hopefully I won't get killed. Can't always guarantee it, but we'll see. Right. Outside first, let's have a look see if there's any of that. There's got to be some food near. There's always food in some trays. Uh, don't want any of that stuff. Back in here. Electric parts, not really. Tin, tin food, I'll have that. What is happening? Who are you? No, I'm no one, mate. No more about me. I'm just popping in. See what you got in the fridge. 
Oh, that's what I want. Grab it all. Go, go. That's all I want. I've got my food. I'm off. <laughs> that's all I was interested in. Well, I was only gone for a couple of minutes, so I couldn't have got raided that quick. Day 10. I've only gone to day 11 on this game, so. And I've got two people left. By now, I only have one person. Well, I've got loads of food there, so they can have a good... Oh, we've been raided. Oh, look. Bruno have been searching for supplies and brought some back. The things they stole, some veg and some of the other things. Oh. Alright, oh, oh, well, let me do that. This old man and his wife. Can't stop thinking about what happened to them. Right, it won't let me even get there. Right, he's tired, so let him get to bed. Those people Bruno robbed. Yeah. Slightly wounded. Right, hang on, let's get a bandage for him. some medicine that might actually stop it I don't know if it will or not but it'll make him feel better I think is that better mate? I hope we manage to keep it warm in here we will do confidence mate that's what you need, you need confidence you need courage you need commitment we drove the thugs away last time, but we won't hold them back forever. No, we won't. Have something to eat. Don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry about it. Have a can of food. Have a can of tuna. Someone's at the door. Oh, God. Let me make something first. a knife just in case you never know is he still there can't see he's probably still there cool well right, I'm coming mate I'm bleeding but just a little oh god Hi there, neighbours. I'm afraid we just lucked out with the last attack. What if the next gang is stronger? Good day to you. I live down the street and I notice you're living in this abandoned building. I've got some news. There was a humanitarian aid drop last night. Most containers were confiscated by the rebels. But I know about one they missed. It landed in no man's land, so it might be dangerous to get it, but under the cover of darkness we should be able to make it I'll show you where it is if you help me carry supplies deal right see and obviously in the game you do get this so you get things that you know you could say yes or no I'm gonna say yes to that great won't great it so he's gone now so I'm I'm controlling just the one person now he can't make anything no it's nothing up there Right guys, well, um, until next time, this has been a war, a survival, and to a commitment soldiers, that humans can peace. be stronger if they work as a team. Until next time guys, stay safe, and don't take for anything for granted. See you soon.